What's up guys, gonna do a little uh, update on my gold collection as well as the sale of my entire gold collection. <laughs> um, don't have a whole lot of it, but uh, it's just life, you know. This month uh, a lot of unexpected expenses and uh, you know, made less money than I have in bills, so I have to sell some stuff, that's just how it goes. So, um, first I'll show you what I have and then <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm selling it for. <laughs> but here's my entire gold collection, I know I'm rolling in it, huh? Um, let's see, let's look at each piece real quick, then I'll give you the breakdown of everything. Uh, I love silver. Silver is like my, it's my baby. I love silver, and I only have a little bit of silver, and I will still do a, a silver update in the future as well. Um, but silver is much more affordable to get into as far as uh, collecting goes. But, uh, figured with silver, I wanted the variety, have a little bit of gold here and there, and eventually maybe get like a little bit of platinum, um, or even like palladium or something. But uh, anyway, this is what I've amassed in gold. I have um, three of these. Let's see, one, two, where's the other one hiding? There it is, sneaky. I have three of these Monarch Precious Metal um, Gold Gram Coins. You can see there, Monarch Precious Metal. Cool little logo with the crown and the P in there. And even though it's a crown, it's two M's, so it's Monarch Precious Metal. Love that logo, it's really neat. Um, and on the other side, we have a ship. You can see all metals, again, if you don't know anything about it, uh, you know, silver, gold, all that stuff, it will have not only its weight, um, as well as its purity. Okay, if it doesn't, it's not real. So on top, we have one gram, its weight, and then its purity on the bottom, 0.999 fine gold. All right. It's as pure as it gets. This is pure gold. 24 carats. Um, the .999 thing, you can't have anything that's 100% pure. Um, just never going to happen. But, of course, with, with silver, some companies, I believe, I don't want to guess, I don't remember, but uh, there's one that's like um, .9999. So there's four decimals there um, of purity. But it's so minute, it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> but anyway, yes, I have three grams of that from uh, Monarch Precious Metals. And then I have a one tenth ounce, uh, troy ounce coin. Okay, pretty cool. Boulder, um, you know, stamping on this one. And on the back, different design. Um, on top, you see, it says, let me give you a better shot of this. One tenth. Troy ounce, and you can see it's a picture of a herring in the grass, if you can make that out, it's pretty neat. And on the bottom it's purity, .999 fine gold. Really cool. And, we have this one. This is, uh, I believe, I want to say Istanbul, let me see, I have to reread it. But this is another gram, this is an ingot, okay, although tiny, <laughs> it is an ingot, so it's not a coin, it's a, um, Actually, I shouldn't call these coins. I believe the technical term a coin is a currency, whereas this is a round. Uh, so it's a, a gold round. Basically an art piece, not currency. It has no value for currency. There's no government that backs that as payment. Except for the smart one, since it's gold. <laughs> but anyway. Um, yeah, here's a one gram ingot from... I forget, I have to read the top through the, the camera here. Istanbul which is pretty cool, Turkish gold, the Istanbul gold refinery, and there you go, the weight. Now this is the uh, little assay type card, it's basically the certification there, um, so you know it's genuine. But a lot of this stuff, it's, it's, it's hard to fake, some people do, but usually it's in larger quantities, not the gram stuff. But uh, one gram there, 999.9. Yeah, let's take a close look at the actual ingot. See company logo on top and again marked for weight and purity. One gram fine gold 999.9 .9, Istanbul. Pretty interesting. This is the kind of stuff you'll find on eBay. Alright. Um, and these like when you buy them in grams and stuff and if you go to eBay to buy any kind of metals you will have inflated prices. Okay. 
It's just how it is. But this is one of the more common ones you can find on there. The Monarch Precious Metal stuff, basically you have to go straight to the, the website to get that. There's no real other place you can get it, at least that I've seen. Then I have uh, an Atmex ingot. Okay, a little Atmex uh, card here. This is how this came in plastic. And same deal, a little one gram ingot. Atmex, let's get real close. Show that. And the reverse side here. One gram and super, super tiny. And Atmex is actually stamping theirs four nines. All right, it's a point nine 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 fine gold. So you, you know, technically it's more pure than three decimals, but it's so minute. I think it's just a technicality at that point. But it's all the same. It's all pure gold, pure as you can get it. And this is sealed, by the way. None of these have touched. Well, I shouldn't say that. The um, these two, these three have never touched human hands, human fingers. Um, those, I bought them, they were in the bags, but I don't believe I touched them. I might have put gloves on. Doesn't make a difference. It's not gonna tarnish or anything. But this one, you know, is still sealed and everything. So, that's what that's about. And, the last one's pretty interesting. I can get this back in here. There we go. The um, last one's interesting. This is the world's smallest gold coin. Um, so it has some, you know, some value as a, a collectible coin, but I just have it for the metal content. It has a certificate of authenticity on here. And let's, let's look at it together here. I think I've shown this in a past video, but let me take it out. I'll show you both. Comes in a cool little case because it's so teeny and tiny. Look at the detail on this thing being so tiny. All right. And you got Gandhi on there. And this is a, a $25 coin. So this could be, this is currency, this is a real coin. The back side, just amazing detail. 2001, the Republic of Liberia. Really cool. And your certificate. All right, there's only 20,000 of these made. Uh, obviously there's the purity. The weight on this is 0.73 grams, all right, so almost three quarters of a gram. 2001, you see all, I mean, I don't have to read it, you're reading it yourself. But yeah, if you go to Liberia, well, it's original intentions anyway, <laughs> you can use it to spend $25, but that would be silly because it's worth more than that and it's gold content. And then we'll think about Gandhi here, if you want to uh, pause that. Okay, that's pretty much it. And then the uh, little guarantee on the back, that's from the American Mint. So, I'm going to do a breakdown here, because I love this stuff, I really do, and I don't want to sell it, but like I said, I'm not going to get into details, but it just has to be done, just one of those things, what are you going to do, you know, this is just stuff, um, as much as I love stuff, and there's no, you should have no guilt or shame in loving stuff, it's just stuff, it comes and it goes, we admire it, we like it, you know, but I like experiences these days, much more than stuff. So altogether, I have 8.84 grams. Here's the breakdown of uh, what this is valued at right this second, as well as what I'm gonna uh, sell it for. I'm selling the whole collection. Just I like to sell them individually, honestly, um, so that people have a better chance of getting because it it's a little cheaper. But I just don't have the time, unfortunately. So go to someone who's who knows about metals more than likely because they'll easily be willing to fork over the money for it because um, I know it's gonna be a great deal. But uh, it just is what it is. I love this stuff. I got bills, I had a lot of stuff come up this month that wasn't expected, and I made less than I owe, so that's just how it works. I try to be responsible and pay my stuff, as you should as well. So anyway, um, as of today, July 31st, 2012, um, one troy ounce is valued at $1,615, okay? I don't have a troy ounce, so how do we figure out how much this is worth? Well, we gotta break it down into its simple terms. First, I have uh, an amount of grams. I have 8.84 grams collectively here, okay? So with that number, I can work out what this is actually valued at. So I take the $1,615, which is what an ounce costs, and I have to figure out basically what each gram costs and then multiply that by how many grams I have. So we take the 1615 and we divide that by 31.1 because there's 31.1 grams in a troy ounce. Um, that gives me 51.92. So each one of these grams, except for the one-tenth ounce, which is right here, 
Each one of these grams of gold is valued at $51.92. What that tells me is if you go on eBay right now or, or most gold places, you're going to pay slightly more than that. eBay, significantly more. Um, it's worth $51.92. You're probably going to end up you know, winning an auction for like $70. 75 maybe even 80 bucks or something somewhere around there. It's always inflated. So everyone's got to make money, you know But uh, anyway, so each one of these grams is worth $51.92 collectively. I have 8.84 grams So you multiply that and it comes out to four hundred and fifty nine dollars and five cents worth of gold collectively um, That's spot price and spot price is what would be considered a good buy if you buy it at spot You're, you're making out pretty good um, But I'm gonna sell it for less than spot because uh, it's just a time issue. <laughs> That's all. I need the money pretty fast. So uh, I'm going to sell this whole thing for $425 shipped. Um, anywhere in the U.S. Uh, unless for some reason someone really, really wants it overseas and they're willing to pay the shipping, then I will work that out as well. Um, so yeah, 8.84 grams of pure gold for $425. So that's it. If you're interested, shoot me a PM in the description box. I will let everyone know if it's sold or not very clearly. And I will also either remove the video or put something on the title um, notifying everyone it's sold. So no one keeps sending messages about it. But anyway, that's it. Um, yeah, it is what it is. This is, uh, as I mentioned before, it's stuff. I love this stuff and I like to keep it and I like to add to my collection. But, um, you know, like I said, these days I, I certainly value experience and time with friends and loved ones uh, far more than I, in, I enjoy my stuff. Um, you know, <laughs> you have as many hobbies as I do and uh, stuff gets lonely sometimes, you know? So anyway, if you're interested, let me know. If not, that's cool. If you have your own gold collection or even silver collections or you just want to talk about metals at all, um, feel free to make a video response. It's always welcome, even if you're talking about base metals. <laughs> Some people are in the base metal market. You know, you're not talking about a couple couple grams or a couple ounces of gold here and there. You're talking about thousands of pounds of aluminum or copper. If that's your thing, I'd love to hear about it. You know, all things metal, including knives, can <laughs> certainly welcome a video response. You know, that's, that's pretty funny, actually. I've always been into metal, even before gold and silver. And it's just it was in the form of awesome cutlery. Anyway, that's it. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you soon with a new video. I'm probably going to sell a couple knives. Little heads up. Uh, I don't know which ones, but we'll see. Make some sacrifices. That's what life's about. And, uh, you know, if you guys do stuff like this, because every, everyone does at some point, you guys sacrifice, that's totally okay. That's part of life. It's not a big deal. It's just stuff, guys. You know, I love all my stuff, and I love all my hobbies, and I know you guys do too, but please, please always keep in mind, it's stuff. Love the people that are around you as well. And your animals. <laughs> See you guys soon.